Hi. Uh, see, a lot of guys might be having this doubt that I am going to explain. Uh, even if the room temperature is like, uh, our requirement is like a 24 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature. Sometimes the surface temperature of cooling coil means apparatus dew point temperature, especially in case of comfort air conditioning system, it is somewhat near to 13 degrees Celsius only, or like 50 degree Fahrenheit to 55 degree Fahrenheit, or somewhat in between like a 10 degree Celsius to 13 degree Celsius. Why it is? What is the reason behind it? Because our room temperature is 24, then why we need to keep the surface temperature of cooling coil nearly 10, 11 degrees less than the room requirement? So what might be the reason behind it? Experienced professionals might be already having the idea, but still a lot of guys are having this doubt. So let me explain it. For example, I'm having a 100% pressure handling unit. That pressure handling unit will be taking the fresh air from atmosphere at a condition of 36 degrees Celsius of dry bulb temperature and a 56% relative humidity. From that state, it will be delivering the air the conditioned treated air to the space uh, at a temperature of 24 degrees Celsius, dry bulb temperature and 50 percentage relative humidity. Okay. And let me explain why we need to keep the surface temperature of cooling coil somewhat near to 13 degrees Celsius. What is the reason behind it? Anyhow, in this video, I'll be explaining uh, regarding this uh, apparatus dew point temperature. And uh, next video, I'll be explaining uh, the dehumidifier de or desiccant wheel selection. And after that, I'll be combining all the psychrometric session and a separate video also I'll be uh, uploading. Okay, thank you. What is the dew point of this one? For example, dew point of that state will be here. Okay. Dew point of indoor state will be Here is. Okay. So when the condensation will start? Because when you are cooling the air, the condensation will not start. Correct. So having your cooling coil. Okay. The air will be entering into the cooling coil at uh, 36 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature and 56 percentage relative humidity. Then it will be touching the cooling coil. Let's say the surface temperature of cooling coil, I am keeping like a 22 degrees Celsius. So when you are cooling the air, the relative humidity will increase. When you are heating it, it will decrease. So when you are cooling the air from 36, it is it will be in, increasing into like, a, uh, decreasing into 35, 34. Once it has reached this point, how much? 36, 5, 4, 3, 2. Once it is reached 32 degrees Celsius, the relative humidity will become 70. Still, it is having 30 percentage more space. Okay. Now, this state will be 32 degrees Celsius, 70 percentage relative humidity. So, 32 degrees Celsius, 70 percentage relative humidity. 33 degrees Celsius, nearly uh, 33 degrees Celsius, nearly like 66 percentage relative humidity. Correct. Here. The same way, 36 degrees Celsius, 56 percentage relative humidity. All these states are having the same humidity ratio only. Means each kilogram of air will be having same quantity of water. Correct. So that's why if when you are cooling it, the relative humidity will increase. But 70 percentage relative humidity means the atmospheric air is having 70 percentage of water vapor in it. Still, it can carry 30 percentage more. We have discussed yesterday, until the relative humidity is 100 percentage, the condensation is not going to happen. So, you have to cool the air until the 100 percentage relative humidity, until this point. So, this point is the dew point temperature of outside condition. This is nearly 25 degrees Celsius. 26 degrees Celsius, slightly less than 25, 26. Let's say that is 25.8 degrees Celsius is the dew point temperature of outside condition. 
So the condensation begins at 25 degrees Celsius. Then where is 22? This is 20, 21, 22. So then the condensation will be always happening through the 100 percentage relative humidity line. So from 21.25, the condensation will be proceeding and it will be reaching up to 22 because if the coil is surface temperature of cooling coil is 22 degrees Celsius, the maximum possible lowest temperature you can achieve by the help of a 22 degrees Celsius cooling coil is 22 only. If the coil is having, practically that is not possible, no coil is having 100 percentage heat transfer efficiency. Okay. So anyhow, the room dry bulb temperature we have achieved because we need just 24. Here we have achieved 22. But the problem, humidity removal has not done perfectly. As per the room condition, each kilogram of air should have just 9.5 kilograms of water. But once the air conditioning from the AC machine, when the air is coming outside, it is having a temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. And in this point, it is having 100 percentage relative humidity. Then this 22 degrees Celsius, 100 percentage relative humid air will mix with the existing hot air within the room. So the temperature will increase from 22, 23, 24. So once it has reached 24 degrees Celsius line, the relative humidity will be slightly very high. No, it is not slightly, it is very high. 90 percentage. So that's why you should not keep the coil surface 22. We have to keep it until this point. Okay. So you have to cool it. Condensation begins at 25.8 degrees Celsius. Then uh, dew point temperature of room condition means this from this point to this point, the humidity has to be removed. Okay. So what about the dew point of this one? 10, 11, 12, 13. Correct. Or 10, 11, this is wet bulb, 12, 13. 100 percentage relative humidity, dBT and wet, WBT same only. No. So in this point, it is 13 degrees Celsius. So you have to cool it until here. And we have to reach up to this point. Okay. Then from the cooling coil. Okay. Once you have cooled up to this point, now the humidity ratio has achieved 9.5 kilogram grams of water per kilogram of air. Now from the AC machine, the temperature of air is that that is coming out will be 13 degrees Celsius theoretically and it is having 100 percentage relative humidity. Then it will start mixing with the room hot air. So the dry bulb temperature will increase. Once the temperature has reached 24 degrees Celsius for the same humidity ratio, you can say the relative humidity is 50 percentage. It means from 13 degrees Celsius, if the temperature is increasing into 24, 13 degrees Celsius, 100 percentage relative humidity. 20 degrees Celsius, uh, 65 percent or 64 percentage relative humidity. 24 degrees Celsius, 50 percentage relative humidity. All these states are having same humidity ratio only. That's why for the same humidity ratio, the dry bulb temperature is increasing after the mixing with the room hot air. Once it is reaching to 24 degrees Celsius, you will be getting that relative humidity also. So this is a way almost all the split AC that you are using within your bedrooms, the residential application that is mixing only. Means the cold air that is coming out from the AC machine will start mixing with the hot air. Accordingly, the room load will be decreasing. The temperature will be reaching into 24. Relative humidity is somewhat near to 50 percentage. Exact 50 percentage is practically not possible. Slight variations will come. Okay, between 40 to 60, 40 percentage to 60 percentage you can come. Okay, so that's why, that's the reason why all the manufacturers were keeping the surface temperature of cooling coil near to 13 degrees Celsius. You should not excessively cool it. For example, if you are cooling this into 10 degrees Celsius, what will happen? Excessive condensation will happen. So once it has reached 24 degrees Celsius, the relative humidity is somewhat near to 40 percentage only it will come. Okay, fine. So this is by mixing. In the question, it is by mixing only. But in reality, for example, if you are having uh, your AC machine, 
and we are having a, a fan. It is taking a 400 liter per second of air from the atmosphere with 36 degrees Celsius dry bulb temperature and 56 percentage relative humidity. Each kilogram of air will be having 21.25 gram. Then we will be circulating this through the cooling coil. Surface temperature of cooling coil will be keeping like less than 13 degrees Celsius. So the condensation will happen. Temperature will also decrease. So when the air is leaving from the cooling coil, the condition will be 13 degrees Celsius and 100 percentage relative humidity. Each kilogram of air will be having nearly 9.5 grams of water per kilogram. Correct. Then from the AC machine, this 13 degrees Celsius, 100 percentage of air will come outside. It will go to the room. It will mix. Then finally, it will be reaching into 2450. But from the machine itself, when it is leaving, if you need 2450, because as per my criteria, when the air is reaching the room or when the air is leaving from the machine, at that time, I need 2450. Not by mixing. From the machine outlet itself, I need 24 degrees Celsius, 50 percentage relative humidity. Then what I have to do? You have to heat it from for the same because 24 degrees Celsius, 50 percentage relative humidity. In that, that state also, each kilogram of air is having 9.5 grams of water only. So humidity ratio is okay. Now you have to simply increase the dry bulb temperature from 13 degrees Celsius to 24 degrees Celsius. That is called sensible heating. So from the machine outlet itself, if you need this criteria, after the cooling coil, you need a heating coil as well. That's why most of the fresh air machine, ventilation machine, we will be having a heating element. Sometimes it might be hot water or it might be a, a heat pipe like Osho heat pipe or it might be a, a electrical heater. Okay. Heating coil. So in case if we are using the heating coil, what about the heating coil capacity? We can find that. Correct. See, when you are doing the heating coil, you have to do the heating from this point to here. Correct. So check the enthalpy of this point, 13 degrees Celsius. Point. Check the enthalpy of this point when it is leaving from the machine. This one. We are getting another enthalpy, enthalpy 4. Okay. How much we will get? Enthalpy 4. 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Okay. It is 36.5. Correct. 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 36.5. Now, from 36.5, From this point to this point, the temperature has to be increased from 13 degrees Celsius to 24 degrees Celsius. So this much heating you have to do. Correct. So the heating load has to be added is mass of air into H2 minus H4. Mass of air we have already calculated 0.442. Okay. H2 we know that is 48. H4 we know that is 36.5. Okay. By this calculation. forty-eight minus 36.5. We'll be getting 11.5. So 11.5 into mass point 0.442. You need just nearly 5 kilowatt, 5.08, 5.08 kilowatt heating coil. So this heating coil capacity should be 5.8 kilowatt, 5.08 kilowatt. Okay. So by now that when it is leaving, you can say, since the temperature has increased from 13 to 24 for the same humidity ratio, the condition will be. 2450. Okay. 
So whether the heating coil is required or not, that is conditional with respect to the climate condition only we can say that. But in this case, the question it is mixing only. By mixing only we can achieve that. But in real scenario, from the machine outside, if you need 13 degrees Celsius, 100 percentage relative humidity, you don't want anything. By mixing we can achieve. We will be distributing this air to the room. But from the machine outlet itself, if you need 2450, after the cooling coil, we have to provide a heating coil as well.